Hey guys, my name is Kenna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and a breakdown of the Halo Beauty supplements. Um, I'm going to just cover the original formula in this video and maybe I'll do some more videos about the other um, products in that line. So if you're curious to learn my thoughts on the Halo Beauty vitamins, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm just going to start off with the first part of the um, dietary supplement, which is the vitamins present in the formulation. So I'm just going to compare the Halo Beauty to the Centrum Women's Vitamins. Um, I take these on a daily basis, and I'm just going to compare the amounts of vitamins present in each formulation. So in the Halo Vitamins, we have 60 milligrams of vitamin C, in a normal multivitamin, you have 150 milligrams of vitamin C, so way less in the halo. Um, for vitamin D3, you have 1,000 IU. Vitamin D here is 800 IU, so there's more vitamin D3 in the halo versus the supplement, or the vitamin. Vitamin B1, five milligrams in the halo, and we have 3.85 milligrams in the multivitamin, so more in halo. Vitamin B2, we have five milligrams again, and again in the multivitamin, we have 3.85 milligrams. So again, there's more vitamin B2 in the halo. Vitamin B6, we have two milligrams, and in a vitamin, a multivitamin, we have five milligrams. So there's more present in the multivitamin. Now for biotin, we have 3,000 micrograms. Biotin in this is 45 micrograms. So there's a lot more biotin in the Halo Beauty supplement. Uh, zinc, we have 10 milligrams. And zinc in a multivitamin, we have 8 milligrams. Copper, we have 1 milligram. And in copper vitamin, we have 0.9 milligrams. So pretty much the same there. Manganese, um, in Halo we have two milligrams, in a vitamin we have five milligrams. So there's more manganese in, manganese in the multivitamin. Okay, now on to the extracts and the other components of the Halo Beauty vitamin. Okay, so I did do a little bit of primary literature research to just kind of see what is out there on a lot of these ingredients. So I am going to include all of the links to the articles that I am referencing down in the description box below if you want to check them out yourself. So starting with catalase. Um, so catalase does break down hydrogen peroxide and it's supposed to help with gray hair. So one study did find that catalase protein expression and hydroxyl radical scattering scavenging activities are strongly repressed in unpigmented hair follicles, which means that essentially when you have unpigmented hair, such as gray hair, catalase is not um, really working and is not present, and uh, there's an excess of hydrogen peroxide. So something else to note is if you buy a catalase supplement specifically for gray hair, it contains about 10,000 international units or IU and Tati's vitamin contains 2,500. So about it's a quarter of what is typically um, put in a vitamin for graying hair that contains catalase. Okay, on to the next ingredient, which is rose hip powder extract. So there is quite a few studies done on rose hip powder extract, and one of them did find significant improvement in crow's feet wrinkles, skin moisture, and elasticity after eight weeks of treatment. So it is important to note, though, the amount of rose hip that was actually present to get this result. So in this study, they were administered three grams of rose hip powder extract daily. And in Tati's vitamin, we only have 100 milligrams of a four to one extract, which basically is the equivalent of 400 milligrams of the rose hips. So this is a lot less than they used in the study where they did have significant results. The Halo Beauty vitamins only contain 13% uh, of the rose hip content that was used in this study to actually get significant results. So whether there is enough in uh, the Halo Beauty vitamins, it's not 
it's not clear. Okay, so the next ingredient is methyl methane. This compound is part of the Earth's natural sulfur cycle. Bacteria takes up sulfates and produces a whole bunch of compounds that essentially make their way into plants, fruits, and vegetables as MS. Um, so some common uses for MSM are arthritis and inflammation, cartilage preservation, improved range of motion and physical function, reduce muscle soreness associated with exercise, reduce oxidative stress, and improve seasonal allergies. It has also been found to improve skin quality and texture by acting as a sulfur donor to keratin. But it is important to note that these studies where they found skin improvements were done with topical formulations of MSM, not oral supplementation of MSM so it's you can't really say that it is the exact same okay next ingredient is saw palmetto and in um, the halo beauty vitamins there's hundred and sixty milligrams okay so saw palmetto contains an inhibitor of 5 alpha reductase so this enzyme is responsible for converting testosterone to dihydrotestosterone so people that have um, alopecia or are predisposed to acne actually have increased localization of dht or dihydrotestosterone so if you can inhibit the conversion of testosterone to di hydrotestosterone, it has been linked to a reduction in hair loss and also a reduction in acne. However, saw palmetto does have some um, drug interactions. So it does interact with birth control pills, estrogen, and may slow blood clotting. Um, so if you are taking anticoagulants or antiplatelet drugs, you probably want to avoid saw palmetto. Okay, next we have the gooseberry extract. Uh, 200 milligrams. So this is the richest source of vitamin C in ripe fruit. It has been found to have um, antioxidant, antibacterial, astringent, and pro-collagen properties, but these are all in vitro studies. So not human clinical trials, but in vitro, it does exhibit all of those activities. So could be good as, you know, good antioxidant and as well um, promoting collagen in the skin. Okay, next we have of grapeseed extract, which is standardized to 85% polyphenols. So this is just a potent antioxidant. It's going to scavenge free radicals and reduce oxidative stress in the body. Uh, next we have a pumpkin seed extract. So it does contain omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. It has been found to have anti-inflammatory action and it has actually shown to help with wound healing in rats, but no clinical trials with that one either. Okay, next we have her special ceramide RX. So um, Tati and James do own a trademark called ceramide RX. So essentially what this means is they bought a ceramide mix from a manufacturer and then decided to trademark it under a different name so that you can't actually identify what the ingredient composition is of that ceramide complex. It does say that it's derived from rice extract and so they are plant derived ceramides. Ceramides are really important for um, the moisture barrier of the skin and studies do show that um, you can absorb ceramides through the digestive system and they do make their way to the stratum corneum by the blood. So it is a good way to um, promote a water barrier and protect the skin against water loss and evaporation. So ceramides also do play a role in melanogenesis or the deposition of melanin in the skin. And so ceramides could also have play a role in reducing pigmentation caused by UV radiation as well. Okay, it is important to note though that her vitamin, the Halo Beauty vitamin, only contains 40 milligrams of phytoceramides, when typically a ceramide supplement will contain upwards of 350 milligrams per capsule. So you're not getting as much ceramides as you typically would with a just straight up ceramide complex supplement. Okay, and then next we have horsetail extract. So this contains natural silica. And there have been a lot of studies, but most of them are this combination of shark and mollusk powder, vitamin C, as well as the horsetail extract. But it has been shown, that whole combination together has been shown to increase hair growth after 90 and 100 and 80 days so it does seem to have a cumulative and like ongoing effect but most of the studies are done with this like shark mollusk horsetail vitamin c mixture 
So it's hard to say whether horsetail and vitamin C on their own are gonna have the same effect. Okay, next we have four milligrams of astaxanthin and four milligrams is pretty much the standard dose for astaxanthin. And this is probably one of the most like tried and true ingredients as far as improvements in the skin. So it, it is derived from algae. Um, it's a potent antioxidant, it has anti-inflammatory properties, it has immune enhancing properties. In vitro, it's been shown to increase collagen content in human dermal fibroblasts, so your skin cells. It has shown accelerated wound healing in mice, DNA repair, and then for clinical trials, this one actually does have a lot of clinical trials associated with it. So it has been shown to have an enhanced immune response, um, so upregulating those T cells and B cells. It has been shown to alleviate aging related changes of residual skin surface components. So that's a lot of the different kind of biomarkers and the machinery that's working for your skin. So it's also been shown to reduce oxidative stress and improvements in skin elasticity, improvements in skin moisture, reduction in overall wrinkle depth, and it may improve um, skin conditions in both men and women, as well as decrease sebum oil. So there is a lot of data around astaxanthin as far as its use um, orally for a kind of skin supplement. Okay, next we've got L-glutathione and in this formulation there is 10 milligrams. Um, it is a really potent antioxidant. Typically, a lot of the studies use 250 milligrams per day. So the Halo Beauty Vitamins only with 10 milligrams, it's not really gonna be clear if this will have any effect. So, with 250 milligrams a day, it has been shown to reduce melanin, reduce wrinkles, and increase skin elasticity. So that is really great, but you would need a higher dose than what is present in the Halo Beauty Vitamins. Okay, last but not least, we have alpha lipoic acid, and in this formulation we have 30 milligrams. So alpha lipoic acid is a potent antioxidant, it has anti-inflammatory properties, um, it promotes healthy glucose metabolism, it, upregulates the enzymes that produce antioxidants naturally within your body. So it is just a kind of, it's an antioxidant and also a pro-antioxidant, which is um, just good for overall health. So my overall opinion of the Halo Beauty supplement is that it does have a lot of good tried and true ingredients in there that are going to help with skin elasticity and moisture and reduction of wrinkles and pigmentation in the skin. Um, a lot of the active ingredients are not at a concentration that the clinical trials were done at, so it's hard to compare if it'll be as an as effective. Personally, I take a multivitamin and then I also take um, astaxanthin, the four milligrams per day, and then I also do take a ceramide complex that contains 350 milligrams of phytoceramides. And I would say those are the two ingredients that have the most human clinical data behind them as far as their effectiveness, and especially with those higher doses. But if you are looking to, you know, try out this product it does have a lot of different ingredients that um, have potential to help with all of those factors for the skin so i think if you're not the kind of person that wants to take like a bunch of different supplements and you know you are looking to take a supplement for your hair this would be one to try i do still think that if you just take a multivitamin and then take you know a couple other supplements that are targeting um the, the hair and the skin and the nails that's probably fine as well. So it's just kind of personal preference whether you want to take, you know, one supplement a day or like take a few. But reality is there is a lot of science behind the ingredients that she has chosen to include in these formulations. The concentrations of those active ingredients is not exactly where I'd want to see them based on the literature uh, surrounding the bioactivity. But again, because there's so many of them and they're in combination, it could have a synergistic effect. It's not really known. Um, she would have to do some clinical trials specifically just with her formulation to actually know um, what those effects are. I would also mention because this does have two ingredients that interact with drugs, you definitely want to consult your physician um, if you do have, if you are taking any other medications prior to starting any supplements, you should consult your physician. And in addition, if you do take a multivitamin on top of this, just also make sure that you're not kind of overdoing it with the vitamins. 
Water soluble vitamins, if you overdo it, it's really not a big deal. You just pee them out. But fat soluble vitamins, they get stored in the body. And there's a lot of illnesses that actually occur because people have too much of a certain fat sol soluble vitamin in their systems. So just be cautious of the other supplements that you're taking and whether you're kind of doubling up on some of those ingredients that you don't want to be doubling up on. Again, I just recommend you consult your physician before you start taking any supplements. Okay, so that is my thoughts and opinions on the Halo Beauty Vitamins. I think that there is a lot of research and science to back up the ingredients that were chosen for the formulations, but I do also think you can get very similar effects by taking a multivitamin and then a ceramide complex and astaxanthin on its own but again the decision is obviously yours and always consult your physician before you start taking any dietary supplements at all just to make sure that there's no contraindications all right that is it for me today if you do want me to review any of any other supplements or any of the other halo beauty items just leave them in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe to my channel to be part of this amazing community of science babes i do post five times a week so if you haven't already please ring the notification bell so you know every time i upload and yeah thanks again so much for watching and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day